Hi friend, this is Datta and today we will going to learn SQL Server Performance Optimization Technique Part 3. In Part 3, we will see how to use SQL Server Profiler tool to optimize a SQL query. Okay. First, we will see what is SQL Server Profiler. Okay. In last session, we saw that we can see the how our query is performing with the help of SQL execution plan. Similarly, we have one more tool given by SQL Server is SQL Server Profiler. Okay, we can find that tool in the menu tools of SSMS SQL Server Management Studio. The first menu is SQL Server Profiler. Okay, so while using the SQL Server Profiler, main purpose is we can understand that how the each and every statement within the query is executing and how much IO and CPU cycles it's taking. So overall we will we can get the cost of the query by using SQL Server Profiler. Okay. So I will just write simple query over here like select all from master dot dbo dot test one okay and i will take top one and execute query okay so i will just capture the performance of this query in sql server profiler the first step is to log in and connect to server i will just write it down each and every step the first type is connection okay second step is apply filter in profiler app pro create filter in a profiler okay and third one is event selection in the profiler okay so these are the main parts okay we'll just open the profiler now and we'll see one by one okay so you can go to the tool menu the first sub menu is sql server profiler i'm just going to click over there and you will see the sql server profiler will open okay so this is sql server profiler tool so i'm just going to log in with my windows authentication per user you can use it over some other authentication like sa but i don't have currently some other authentication i will just use windows authentication okay i just connected over here second screen will be use the existing template or use customized template okay so there are some standard templates available in sql server in inbuilt you can take it or you can use your own what is mean by this template is whenever we select some default template then it automatically selects some events and some columns over here you can see it's already selected so this is a standard template okay it is already created for us by the sql okay so we can use as it is i will just use the as it is standard template and i will show you how can we use this profiler okay so we can see i have not run any query yet but still it is showing some vague data okay so first and most important part is we should be able to filter out according to these columns okay and to focus only the required data okay means i'm just firing the statement again and you will see this trend will be somewhere else over here okay selected that again it is showing some vague data which is not necessary so we should be able to filter out the this unnecessary data so how can we do it you can see 
we can do it by applying filter on any of these columns so the i just full screen it. you can see the application name is secret server manual studio so i cannot filter it because we want all purified by this query by this application okay i cannot filter on login name because it is using semi login name as am i as i am using for this query so what is difference is the network protocol all these entries are done while login and connecting to the server and it is all about a network protocol so i can filter out these records by using the filters okay so i will again stop this and go to filter out the properties in properties i will go to event selection in event selection i will go to column filters in filters you will see all column names are here over here like event class text data application name ent username login name cpu reads and writes and everything so i will apply filter on text data i will apply as not like network protocol and i will make it okay okay i will want this text data to be displayed and just open this but you can see still it is showing means somewhere we have missed something i will again stop it i will again go to edit image selection column filter we have missed it because we have not applied percent percent sign at the beginning and the end i will apply it network protocol and i will again run it you will see those rows are now removed so it will i will i want again to run some stored procedure and see how to use that procedure okay i have a sample stored procedure over here like i have already created i will just show you the stored procedure this is my sample stored procedure evs pandas for test it contains only two four statements over here the first statement is declaration of the variables second is query on test one table second is query on test two table and third is the selecting result of the both queries so i want to test the result of this query and so i have created it i will just run this xp this store posture in this session okay this how can we execute execute store posture i will fire the query you will see in this profiler there are so much unnecessary entries are coming so how to remove these entries again we have to filter out on the basis of some column okay so how can we do this i'm just searching something is should be there on basis of which we should able to filter out the records okay i think we should go on the application name but application name is same no no application name we can filter out you will see this it is uh, records are coming because of this intellisense we are using intellisense in the sql server management studio and this uh, executing some queries inside and so log is coming in profiler so i want to neglect all this so i will apply filter on column application name and not like intellisense okay otherwise i will just copy this but not able to copy so i will just type over there i will just stop again i will edit the properties of filter go to column filters then i'm applying filter on application name there is already one filter but i will again one add one more filter over here as percent percent in the lessons okay we will see now intellisense data will not show okay i'll show you 
I will use IntelliSense select all from DBO dot test okay and you can also see over here I have used the IntelliSense but still no entries in our profiler okay now I want to execute my store push here and I want to measure the performance. So I have run the query and the store post here. And you will see there are only two entries in system. But I want to measure the performance on the internal statements of a store post here, not whole store as a store post as a whole. So I will stop it again, I will again edit. Now I will not go into filtration, I will go for event selection. For event selection, I will show all events. Click on show all events, and I will select some more event, okay, which is not currently selected. So for we can go to the store posture because we are now measuring filter, measuring performance of store posture. So we we'll select some more filters as within a store posture we have selected the RPC completed and store posture starting okay so you can see i have only ip service complete over here i will now select some more events like statement completed and statement starting okay statement starting and statement completed. so i will run it again and i will run store procedure again store procedure store procedure get executed and you see the result over here now it is showing the internal statement level data so this is a statement starting statement completed okay some vague values again coming we have to filter out these things how can we do we can do now you can see over here whatever our expected data and this vague data or unnecessary data is coming with the login name SA. So I will again filter out on the basis of login name. Go to properties, event selection, go to column filters, login name, and not like SA. So now this data will not come. I will file SP again. Result came and I will go again to profiler you will see data on treatment level coming so this is a batch starting execute store posture name this is for my first statement of a store posture I will just show you this is a first statement first select statement of the store posture and this is a second first is for test one second for test two and you can see the event is statement starting statement completion for the same statement as fired on test one table okay so what to focus whenever you are measuring the performance we have to focus on number of cpu cycles number of reads number of writes and duration duration going on there duration duration is given here as a millisecond so you can see the first statement fired on test one table is taking 48 millisecond whereas this another is taking 450 millisecond okay also you can see start time and end time of the both statements you can see over here this statement is this is the date part this is hour minute second and this is a millisecond so it statement started on 50 millisecond and get completed on 97 millisecond so it is around 48 millisecond similarly it is already deducted subtracted values and duration is mentioned over here and you can easily compare which statement is taking how much time because you can see over here because of some circumstances test 1 and test 2 these are both tables having same number of records and same number of columns still the performance is different so that by this way we can conclude 
that's where is a bottleneck means if I have been given a work to optimize this query then where should I focus I should focus on the part of a query where the cost is more so by this query I get to know that I have to focus on the second statement because it is taking almost 90% cost over here okay because there are only two select statements one is taking only 48 milliseconds another is <coughs> 450 milliseconds so by this way you can learn you can take a help of SQL Server Profiler for SQL query optimization so again I will revise summarize the session as there are three steps of using a SQL Server Profiler as first is connection second is apply filters appropriate filters to get only necessary data and avoid unnecessary records from the screen and third one is reading the proper columns over here okay and proper event selection apply applying proper event selection like statement these are the events like best statement sql batch starting store procedure statement starting store procedure statement completed and sql batch completed these are the events so whenever you want to focus on some stroke procedure or some batch or some other so according to that task you have to select the event properly and again you have to you should be able to conclude on the basis of the reading of the profiler traces this file is called as trace file and on the basis of the reading of this file you should be able to conclude what is a bottleneck and where is the issue so we can store this trace file for future use as file save as trace file and i will just give any destination like my document and i will give the trace one as any trace file name and i will save it for future purpose whenever you want to open that trace file i will just go to my document and over there i will find my trace file i can find my trace file over here i will just go and open with my sql server tracing tool so it will again open my trace file over here so anytime in future i can study the same trace file and i will keep it for a reference so similar we can use we can store the sql server execution plan and similarly over here we can store this sql server profiler trace file so that's all for the using sql server profiler and please watch my next video on another sql server performance optimization technique and stay tuned if you like my videos like and share my link and please subscribe my channel and please share my videos with your social media networking sites okay thank you for watching my video bye bye see you again